another episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we will see how Copilot can be used for generating unit test. I will be using Visual Studio Code with .NET Core Framework and XUnit as the testing framework. In .NET Core, I have two simple methods. One is for checking whether a string is palindrome or not. The second is for identifying prime number. If it is prime, return 1, otherwise 0. These are the two simple methods we are using for today's um, unit test generation aspects. So let us quickly move to the unit test area and ask Copilot to add unit test for the palindrome method. So it's uh, trying to give me a unit test for the palindrome method. Let us see whether it's able to identify this method in the test explorer. So it's checking whether it is a palindrome. Race car is the text. So we can execute and see whether it's a successfully execute this test method or not. Good, it's executed. Let us try to add more method instead of going for unit test for the prime method. I'm asking Copilot to help me to define another unit test case for the palindrome method to verify an empty string. So it's giving me the test case for an empty string. Good. Let us see whether parent Copilot is giving any suggestion for the test cases. As you can observe, Copilot is coming with a new suggestion, define a unit test for checking this method using a single character. So let me go ahead and accept that one. And it came with a single character approach. And let me see any other thing. There is a non-palindrome string. So it's kind of a negative cases where I am going for a non-palindrome string or a palindrome with the spaces. So it's add more coverage for my text execution. Either I can go ahead and accept more such things or I can think about generating unit tests based on a specific other scenarios. So like a palindrome with the spaces or special characters, that kind of thing. Or normally in unit test generation, we take an approach of a data-driven test. So for that, I have a sample data prepared here, test.csv with the three datas, hello and Malayalam test. These are the three strings available. I need to check whether the palindrome method is executing against this data, sample data. So I'm asking Copilot to add a method to get test data from a CSV file or even I can say from the test.csv file. So more accurate input I need it. So it gives a method which read the test data. So as you can see, it's defined a test data method and read from test.csv and add all values. So as it's having only single value, I'm not having any expected values. No need to even split the line. I can directly add or I can just say, remove all these things and add my values of zero. I hope it is values of zero here. Yeah. Let me take this one from here and add it as say value here. So this my input is ready. Either I can go with a simple test method for uh, returning this one or I can even go for a yielding approach for returning the things. So, so let me just save and see whether any issues with my data generation method. 
so i just modified according to this one there is no splitting required actually uh, even if it is split also only one value is there add it now let me try to use this value as part of my pa palindrome test so i am asking copilot again add unit test using so whenever you go for a data driven approach in x unit we use an attribute called theory so theory is the attribute indicating i am going for a data driven method and it linked to the data approach so here if you say member data which is test data that is this method this method will give me the member data using that test it that's the approach we take in the x unit case so let us see whether it's able to identify this method for all three tests so you can see here hello malayalam test these three data is coming from my csv file which is read as part of my test data method and feed it as a member data into my unit test scripts so i can execute and see which one the, this one will pass because expectation is true the other two is um, negative cases so the expectation will not match and fail it so you can observe here sometimes uh, as part of the test data itself we prepare the expected output as well so this uh, input data what is the expectation as well so for getting such test cases let me go ahead and use my second method that is the prime number so i'm just removing this one i hope you are clear on how to prompt copilot to generate the testing aspect and let me go ahead and show you the sample data from prime number here two data points are there one is the input and the second one is the output i am expecting out of this particular method so verifier is the is prime is my method under verifier class which returns either 0 or 1 and that is what i am expecting here I prepared a set of test cases for this particular method. So let us go back to the unit test and ask for creating again a method to add a method to get test data from sample.csv file. So let it read the file. So it's line data and a line data to the test data list so i may need both the datas so i am giving line data of zero and line data of one these are the two data points because two are there so again saving and seeing whether any issues with my sample creation so there is something is not went well let us see so instead of stream reader let me read it through the file reader so because i don't have enough um, system import on top so i'm going to read it using a file so let me just go ahead with the file reading and now it's going to give me the complete read yes so you can see it's reading using a file read the sample csv and split it and if i need to convert to integer or boolean no need actually i can directly add it down so there is no need for me to convert to integer or anything just split it then go ahead and add it so i am just removing this one so i have this one as values of zero then expected is values of one this is the value i am expecting so let to see any issues with my test so something is missing so let us try to generate our okay there is no returning so i need to return the test case that may be the issue so let 
me see whether it's able to discover it and i am going to ask again the copilot to add unit test using theory for is prime method so theory is added member data is linked and it's going to get the test for is prime so you can see is prime there are two input because we added two values the input and the expectation so it's doing a parsing and all it's not mandatory if you are having the uh, string value kind of thing but uh, here acts it's a input string so let it parse and compare it so let it save and see how many test cases are generated it's supposed to generate test cases for all these combinations so you can see 11 expectation is 1 and the tall zero similarly it's coming here so let us run it and see how the output some of them are negative test cases it fails it will not execute successfully so you can see that uh, 9 I am expecting as a prime number but it's not so similarly 17 is a prime I am I said it's not a prime number so these combinations are not correct that's why we are getting so this is the how we can use the copilot for generating unit tests specific to a method and also the same thing will work for the complete class as well i can specify something like add unit test for the verifier class verifier only i hope so and I'm going to enter. Either I can work, wait, and see there are two unit test is created. You can see testing palindrome and testing prime number with the two combinations um, is added here. So class level unit test generation is also possible. If it is method level, you can prompt for the positive, negative, different combination of unit test also data driven unit test case generation is possible and it's not only works for vs code and x unit it works for even for the other framework as well so i am quickly showing you a spring boot application let me run this application it's a spring boot application i am going to run it and try to add a so it started in 8080 port and let us start a unit checking this one localhost 8080 it's working i have a customer a, sorry customer routing so this is the value i am expecting so let us go ahead and take the help of copilot to add the unit test here and unit test for the customer controller It's generating the unit test it's very basic unit test but it's still able to generate a unit test and expecting some John Dio that's the input expected so let us run this unit test I think our input is sorry out expectation is not this one so it may fail so let us see here so the actual output contain John Smith what we are expecting Dio that's why it's failed so if I replace this with um, the actual value, the test case will execute successfully. Great, it's the execution is done. So hope you have a clear understanding on how to use the copilot for unit test generation. It's not only for the programming or the development activities for unit test generation also you will be able to use the copilot successfully.